Hey guys, and welcome back to Antarctica. I'm currently standing outside Scott Base, and in the next three weeks, I'm going to be leading a group of penguin scientists, and we're going to be traveling for about 700 kilometers to the north to a place called Cape Adair. We're going to be traveling by twin otter aeroplane, a squirrel helicopter. And first of all, I'd just like to introduce the three scientists that I'm going to be with. Yeah, my name is Morgan Coleman. My name is Tess Cole. I'm Jamie Wood from Land Care Research. And so what we're doing is um, we're excavating ancient uh, breeding colonies of Adelie penguins. And we're digging back through the layers, um, back thousands of years. I'm taking samples of ancient um, guano, the penguin droppings and we're able to extract DNA out of that and work out what the diets of these birds were back through time. First aid kit fire extinguisher also located on my rear right door as well as there's another fire extinguisher located underneath my uh, right seat. So I'm standing in front of Mario Zucchelli station now and it is so beautiful here. And behind me you can see the remains of the sea ice in the bay here just drifting around. It is absolutely stunning. We're going to be working around here for about four or five days and then we're actually going to be moving another couple hundred miles up north to another place called Cape Hallett which is going to be quite hard to get to because of the weather uh, but fingers crossed that all goes well. We've got about four different places here that we're hoping to dig some pits and collect some ancient penguin poo and penguin eggs. So that's kind of our plan for the next few days. The Kelly station is definitely smaller than Scott Base and it's quite different because it's actually built out of shipping containers. So this was originally meant to be the temporary base that they would use to build the permanent base. The permanent base would be over near where the helicopter sits now. After a while they decided that the temporary base was big enough and they couldn't afford to continue to build and so that's kind of become the permanent Italian station down here now. Shortly they will be getting a ship come in and they have either one or two supply ships each year come to Murray's of Kelly and that's a container ship with some fuel on board as well and that comes down from New Zealand. So that's meant to be arriving in a couple of weeks. Everyone's pretty excited.
there's a little penguin behind me there. Behind me you can see a penguin colony and there is thousands and thousands of adult and baby penguins here. It's a pretty cool spot but it's an absolutely miserable day here. It's blowing about 20 knots of wind. I'm currently hiding behind a very large rock. Oh yeah, just holding a tube, the sand and test photo. Welcome to Cape Hallett, Antarctica. What a spectacular place. This is going to be one of the most incredible places that I've ever been in the world. Look at this mountain range over here, looking all the way up towards Cape Adair, which is actually our goal in a couple of days. This is a massive Adelie penguin colony here. All in the distance you can see the penguins running around. The chicks are about probably 30 centimetres high at the moment. And this is a pretty spectacular place to be. So the storm only lasted for probably 12 hours and it was mostly overnight. Right here was about 40 knots of wind and blowing snow so you could hardly see anything. However, out there apparently they recorded 60 knots of wind so it's pretty significant.
reality The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul So we've been back here at Scott Base for a few days now um, sorting and processing the samples we collected and we've got about 51 kilograms of um, samples to take back to New Zealand and over the next couple of years those will be studied in our um, ancient DNA lab. So that was our trip from Scott Base up to Cape Adair and back. We were so lucky that really with only two awesome days of weather we were actually able to complete all of the science that we set out to do. 